stood on this very same stage to deliver my first inaugural speech as your city mayor. And that day, I promised our Muhammans that I will restore the peace and order of our city, to strive hard to make it progressive, and to make our people safe and happy. I also told you about my 10-point priority agenda, of which, number one, is peace and order, agricultural productivity, food production and fisheries, health, sanitation and social welfare, education, trade and investments, good governance, revenue generation, environmental preservation, tourism, and traffic management. On the very first year of my term in 2016, I was able to deliver my promise on restoring the peace and order situation of Ormoc with the support of similar-minded officials like our Vice Mayor Toto Loxin Jr. and the entire Ormoc development team councillors, with the Philippine National Police and of course our very own President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Dagan salamat, Mr. President. We are now among the safest cities in the country and was in fact named as the safest city for three successive years. With the restoration of peace and order, progress came easy for Ormoc City. Malls opened up one after the other in 2017. Ormocanos were happy to see the fast-paced progress and employment was very high in our city. With new facelifting efforts like beautifying the city center, people began to come back to the plaza to enjoy the sights and sounds of this beautiful Ormoc Bay. We have been able to host huge open-air concerts with no reported incidents. Ormocanos are indeed very peace-loving people and disciplined people. We also invested on the development of our people, especially the young. Our sports program gave our athletes the adrenaline to become achievers. In just two years, we became back-to-back -back champions in the regional games, Evra, and many of our athletes were decorated with medals in the Palarong Pambansa. Our local and homegrown talented athletes have brought gold medals, silver medals, and bronze medals in the past two Southeast Asian Games. We have also expanded our scholarship program to more than 700 scholars now. Nasa dali karo. Pakpakan niya ato mga scholars. Barot mga scholars paliho. Nasa dali Congratulations. Our Armok Technical Education Skills Development Center, on the other hand, has been able to give hundreds of men and women skills training they need to find a good employment. Our Public Employment Services Office, a consistent awardee of DOLE, augments all this with job fairs and placement opportunities. On the background, and not so often publicized, are the work that our various departments were doing. Our Agriculture Office stepped up to the challenge of making Ormoc food secure. And this was very apparent during COVID time when we were able to produce our meat and vegetables to our people in spite of border controls and the distortion of the food supply chains. In health, sanitation, and social welfare, we've shown the world how a little city like Ormoc was able to stop the spread of COVID with good management, discipline, and political will. Today, we continue to vaccinate our people and are now able to dispense second boosters. If you ask me if I had been able to do what I have promised you in 2016, I will tell you honestly that yes, I did. But there are still so much things that needs to be done. And now, 
Ladies and gentlemen, I am embarking on a new journey as your new representative in Congress. This was a 21-year journey to me. In 2001, we would have won three congressional seats under the Mamaya and Ayos Adroga Party list with over 3 million votes. But Mad was disqualified by the Supreme Court in 2010. In 2001. In 2010, I tried to run again for Congressman. The Comelec disqualified me at that time. And of course, with the help of Goyal Arasabal, who became my opponent this election. This was a very contentious election with my opponents resorting to fake news, misinformation, and demonizing me. Yung guwapo kong ito, gidemonize din nyo? Pagkagwapong demon nyo eh. I salute to Ormukhanons and the people of the 4th District for seeing through the lies, the untruth, and the selfish motives, and choosing me over my opponent. I am glad that I won. Otherwise, makakalusot na naman ang problema ng droga dili sa ating syudad. Because we have verified information that our opponents resorted to receiving and using drug money this election. I will also fight hard to stop illegal gambling all over 4th District of Leyte. Otherwise, magubala ang kaugmaon sa atong mga tao. Illegal gambling is another vice that can be as destructive as drugs. The social cost is just too high. It pushes people to petty thefts, crime, and poverty. I will ask the full cooperation of the Philippine National Police to stop all forms of illegal gambling in the 4th District of Leyte. Palihog, <laughs> magtinabangay kita. Let us take away all forms of illegal gambling there is atong distrito o there is atong syudad. I would also like to emphasize this. I will not forget those who have helped us. Daghan ka ayong salamat. I will also not forget those who went against us and those who betrayed us. I thank the support of the family and our Vice Mayor Toto Luxin Jr., the whole council, the Liga President, the SK President, my shock absorbers, Perry Dean and Vince Rama, my dad Manuling, my mom Julie, to my beloved Juliana. To Vincent Mas, Attorney Joy, Lyra, our religious sector, BM Indoy, BM Indoy Revolo, our 90 out of 110 Barangay Capitan in Ormoc City, Palihog, Barog Palihog, atong mga Kapitan. Led by Liga President Engineer Baby Laurente, Dagan Kaayong Salamat. Ang atong mga media practitioners, those who work behind the scenes, those we hardly see but working hard to ensure our victory. I would like to thank also Vice Mayor Rudy Wenceslao of Merida for making sure that things are running well with our organization, our leaders, and at the forefront. Balihog, Barog. Whee! <laughs> I would also like to thank our mighty mayors, their vice mayors, and their councillors. I'd like to thank Mayor Sixto de la Victoria of Albuera, Mayor Lando Villasencio of Merida, Mayor June Medina of Isabel, Mayor Mike Torivillas of Matagog, 
Mayor Georgina Arevalo of Palumpon, and Mayor Mark Torres of Kananga. Daghan kaayong salamat. And of course, my only love, the love of my life, Lucy. With your help and support, you have brought me to where I am right now. Thank you, thank you very much. I will be honest when I say that it will be difficult to top what Congresswoman Lucy has brought to Ormoc in the 4th District of Leyte. But what I can say is, I will work hard and do my best, like what I always do, to bring the needed projects and programs that can make a difference in the lives of each and every citizen of our district. I will work hard for each and every one of you. And before I end, allow me to take you on a short little journey of how Ormoc was before the whole Ormoc development team came into the picture and how it is right now. Video please.